Initially, the health strand of Children's Centre, there, there, was, there was nothing really to, to work with because we were, to be fair, we were newly established, I think. Um, they didn't really know we were here. So we knew that we would have to go and, um, and link with them rather than expect them to come to us. I do go down to the GP surgery on a weekly basis where we take all our marketing materials, we take registration forms and basically that is just to pick up the children and the families that are there that possibly don't know about children's centres. It has been really successful but the, I think there's always the hidden idea that you know what, what do they really want from us or are they trying to sell us something or um, and most families have been very surprised when they have come that it is a service that we're offering that they are entitled to, that they really knew nothing about. When I started in Children's Centre, my previous background was health. So I suppose I am quite protective of that. But to be fair, I think it, the, the agenda for the Children's Centre was something very new to me too. So not only was I learning about that, I was trying to sort of educate other people about that too. So I was a little bit disappointed initially that the health professionals weren't as enthusiastic as I was. But after saying that, we are doing very well now and they are engaging with us. So there's just a couple of messages in there for you that we've taken from a couple of families. I go up there once a week and, and just see if there's anything you know up there that we need to know about. Um, Helen's got a book behind the desk that's specifically for the health visitors. And also from that, in the families that we see, sometimes they need a bit of additional support. But for whatever reason, we might not be able to necessarily offer that. Helen's promoted um, us as individual workers and she's given our responsibility for her own kind of profession that we've got within um, the centre. So it's, it makes everybody feel valued at what they're doing and she gives you that support. She allows you to go on and develop your ideas and it, it just lets the centre work together and we all feed off each other sort of thing. The staff independently feel confident enough to make professional decisions on, on who they need to refer to. So from the stay and play sessions, there are children that have been referred directly into the speech and language drop-in. And I think the referrals into speech and language have been quite heavy um, because of those problems that have been identified at that stage. South Kirby is an area of deprivation, of worklessness. So I think it's the early intervention that has to be identified. So even people who just come in and out for the groups and things might see us um, just in the centre, one of the staff here. Um, so if they do at a later stage have a worry about their child's speech and language, then they come and see us and it's not a sort of a, a separate new thing. It seems more open and accessible to them, I hope. I think there is really a shared ethos in the centre around the importance of communication and building speech and language skills in these early years. And we do feel very supported in being here. I mean, the Children's Centre staff have been great at identifying children and families that they know of and, and suggesting that they come and see us here.